This is Jay with Organic Money, and this video is going to be about the SWIFT system and the new technology surrounding the SWIFT system that's going to be affecting financial institutions, as well as some cryptocurrencies that already have adapted this technology, which means some cryptocurrencies can possibly be on the forefront of being used with financial institutions. So, Russia banks uh, got sanctioned with the SWIFT system. Like I said, the SWIFT system is basically a messaging system that uh, communicates with financial institutions to let them know about uh, bank transfers and uh, withdrawals and stuff of that nature, right? So now, with Russia being cut off the system, that's going to affect their bottom line and their citizens know it, so they all run into the banks taking their money out, right? Well, this is called so a bank run. Russia is currently having a modern day bank run where all their citizens have lined up outside what their bank do? institutions <laughs> to withdraw their money. They're doing this because their government, they're scared of what their government can happen. Um, so they're taking their money out. And a lot of people don't realize if that happens here or anywhere in the world, it's going to be some upset people because when you uh, deposit money in the bank, the bank is about to create loans uh, up to 10 times off your off every dollar of your money. So this is a, a big eye-opener. But as you can see, this also helped to push the price of Bitcoin up. And it's just reached uh, around $43,000, $45,000 this week. Right, so this shows how cryptocurrency kind of detached away from the stock market, and it also shows how Ukraine raised fifty-two million dollars in cryptocurrency. So they're really on their high horse in Ukraine with uh, having funds come in from donations with cryptocurrency. But to switch on that, we're going to talk about ISO two zero two two. Here's a quick video explaining. They often get confused and end up misunderstanding each other. Take the word football, for instance. It might mean one thing to an American and something entirely different to a Brit. Well, it's no different in the business world, where the stakes are way higher. Here, a simple misunderstanding can lead to disastrous consequences. So how do you improve communication, make sense of different meanings, standards, and formats, and get everyone in the financial sector on the same page? Easy. By using ISO 20022 the international standard that's designed to simplify global business communication. You see, ISO 20022 solves communication confusion. How? Well, it offers a global dictionary of common language that everyone can understand, so information can be processed and exchanged worldwide, clearly and consistently, making it easier than ever to communicate financial information between people and systems. What's more, ISO 20022 is a free and open standard which means that anyone, anywhere can add their two cents to the dictionary to help write and build solid business standards right across the globe. Not only does ISO 20022 streamline communication for payments, securities, funds, foreign exchange trading, and credit card sectors, it also reduces risk big time. ISO 20022, because common understanding leads to effective communication and makes doing business a whole lot easier. To learn more about ISO 20022, visit one of these websites. The ISO 20022 was created by the International Organization for Standardization. It's the international standard setting body composed of representatives from various national standards and organizations. Basically, it's an international think tank. These people help uh, solve problems, like even with shipping. Uh, they help come up with uh, ways to make shipping uh, more organized and come up with solutions to problems internationally. Now, if you go look at the United States' largest bank, which is J.P. Morgan website, you can see how they're discussing the ISO 2022 and its implementation and how it's going to take effect in the financial world, right? Not only that, you can go to the SWIFT website, and they're talking about on the, with the SWIFT system how they're implementing the ISO 20022 this year. Not only them, but other banks as listed below. So now, how does this tie into crypto? Well, with XRP, Stellar Loomis, XDC, IOTA, and Algorand, they all have the ISO 20022 technology. What does this mean? This means they can possibly be used and trade with financial institutions like central 
banks. This is huge. Now, it kind of makes sense that Ripple was one of the only cryptocurrencies to ever get brought up in the case by SEC, right? Now, that case is about to be thrown out. They're predicting in April. But the ISO 20022 is supposed to go live this fall in November, right? So this is something we need to look into, all right? I'm just saying, it, everything just makes makes sense. It's starting to connect now that the night, like Russia just got off the SWIFT system. Now the SWIFT system is being updated um, come November of this year. And not only that, crypt, some cryptocurrencies like Ripple, Stella Lomas, IOTA, XDC, and Algorand already have the messaging technology that they need to use when communicating financially. All right? So... Do y'all research, look into it, tell me what y'all think, like this video, leave a comment if it was helpful. Peace.